morning and God bless you. Today is Thursday in the 20th week of Ordinary Time. And today we celebrate a wonderful contemporary saint, St. John Paul II. And as you know, he was Pope between 1978 and 2005. When I was in the seminary, uh, which I entered in 1994, in my second year, the Lord gave this man to me as a model and as a teacher uh, to form me and to show me what it means to be a shepherd, a priest. And so this man greatly influenced my life as I know he's influenced the life of so many and was such a, a gift to the church uh, during his time with us. So I just want to share with you three things that come to mind uh, that greatly inspired me from the life of this man. So the first uh, thing is that he had a real gift for proclaiming the truth in love. Another way that I've heard it put, clarity with charity. But he would, he would proclaim the truth in a way that was so attractive that even with the challenges that come with the gospel, he would always make clear the path of mercy, always clearly show that the door of mercy was open for the Lord to help us with our sins and with our challenges. But he would, he would proclaim the truth with such respect for the people with whom he was speaking, but also with great love to make the truth attractive. Another gift uh, of, of his life is his deep, wholehearted love for Christ. And this is what led him to live a Eucharistic-centered life. I think it's very fitting that I, I give this reflection this morning with the tabernacle right behind me. This man would spend hours of prayer with Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament every single day. I had a chance to meet him actually in 1995 when I was passing through Rome and we had mass together with him in his private chapel. And what deeply moved all of us was just his praying before the Blessed Sacrament before Mass, that prayer of silence, that deep, intense prayer. And then he would do a Thanksgiving prayer after Mass before he came out to meet with us uh, very briefly. One problem with this particular <laughs> uh, deep devotion he had was in his travels. There were people that were in charge of planning his routes, making sure that he would stay on schedule. Well, because of his devotion to the Eucharist, whenever they would pass by a church or a chapel, he would insist on stopping and going inside and praying with our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. But the problem with this is that this would delay him and they would often be late to the different things that were scheduled. So later in his life, what they started to do is they would try to plan his routes and they would go around these chapels and churches so that he would not insist on stopping. Isn't that something? You know, it's on this day two years ago that we opened and dedicated our Adoration Chapel. And so St. John Paul II is the patron of our Adoration Chapel. And I just want to thank you and, and all the people of our parish for their prayers and for your hours of adoration that have made this, this epicenter of grace uh, possible for our community. So God bless you for that. And finally, what I like about this, this saint is his passion for evangelization. He had a great passion to spread the gospel. And this took him to 
the four corners of the world. He, he would go anywhere and meet with anyone. And what I liked about his style, and I, I read many of his, his homilies and deliveries that he would speak to the different peoples and different nations around the world. And his way was to, to build on what was already there in a person's life, in the culture of that nation. And so he'd, he'd find whatever was good, whatever was beautiful, whatever was true, and he would highlight that. But then he would use that as a springboard to try to invite them to go further. And even when he would meet with people from different religions and people that were not Catholic uh, or people that were not Christian, his hope and his prayer in forming relationships with them was always very clear. While he would meet them where they were and he would form these beautiful friendships, his hope was always to draw them to Christ and to lead people into the fullness of faith. So his, his deeply personal relational style made people feel first and foremost that they were loved and respected. And this would win their hearts. And by that he would try to draw them further and deeper in the way of the gospel. So we can learn a lot from these saints and certainly from this particular saint. So let's thank God for uh, this particular saint that we celebrate today. Uh, maybe you have your own stories about him. Uh, but let's, let's thank God for the gift and the inspiration that we receive from these wonderful holy people. And I think this is a day where ice cream is in order, uh, a hefty bowl of ice cream. So let's celebrate the gift of these saints. Amen. God bless your day. I'll see you tomorrow.